pressure altitude and this is always fun to figure pressure altitude you need your current pressure setting and your airport elevation once you have those you have to figure this by hand and I want to start the story out by my very first student in 2001 I think it was airplane CFI we didn't do a bunch of ground because he said hey I want to study on my own and I'll know this stuff and I'll learn it and he did a real good job and he was really sharp sharp and I never made him figure pressure altitude by hand I just figured he could do it because he was a CFI that was my bad for not making sure he could do it and he was flying the Robinson R22 and he needed to figure pressure altitude and he couldn't remember how to do it and he was like well, I can use my computer da 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 and the examiner was like no you you have to do this by hand because what if you're in an aircraft and you have to figure out whether you're going to be able to hover somewhere when you land and you need your pressure altitude so anyway you got to know how to do this by hand so the question is is the pressure higher than standard is the pressure lower than standard you're going to work the problem two different ways whether the pressure is higher or lower for the day when you're working your problem so depending on which it is you're either going to add or subtract so let's f start with a lower than standard pressure standard pressure is 29.92 let's say your barometric pressure that day is 29.55 you're going to subtract that from standard and that's going to give you 0.37 so after you get that you're going to drop the decimal you're going to add a zero and that's going to give you 370 now I just made up an airport elevation of 5,000 feet for where you're working your problem you're going to add the 370 to the 5,000 and give you a pressure altitude of 5,370 now again this is because the pressure is lower than standard you add to airport elevation and seems kind of backwards possibly but this is the way you work the problem so let's work one in reverse let's go to a higher than standard pressure setting let's use 30.92 so we're going to subtract standard 29.92 from the larger number 30.92 it's going to give us 1.00 so we're going to do the same thing again we're going to drop the decimal we're going to add a zero that's going to give you 1000 so then you take your airport elevation again of 5000 feet and you subtract 1000 from your airport elevation of 5000 which gives you a pressure altitude of 4000 and if you remember I'm not sure if I've covered this earlier in the ground school a one inch change in pressure equals a thousand feet so right there's where you can see it there's your one inch change and it is directly related to a thousand feet change so there is how you figure pressure altitude as I said you have to know how to do this and you have to know how to do it by hand so the key is to remember drop the decimal add a zero if the airport elevation I'm sorry if the pressure is lower than standard you add to airport elevation if the pressure is higher than standard you subtract from airport elevation and I just got through doing this I did it two hours ago and I'm remaking the whole thing because I, I actually screwed this up and it's it's very easy to make a mistake with this so practice with it commit it to memory because you're gonna have to know how to figure pressure altitude to work some of these charts